All right, we're just turning these alerts off. Uh, wow, beautiful, beautiful day. I'll let you know where I'm at, but good afternoon, everyone. This is Carol, so AKA live with two sisters. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. This is Janice, AKA Wellness Diva 5.0 on this trending triumph wealth wellness Thursday. There you go. There we go. We had a mouthful. It's uh, wellness, it's trending, it's triumph, it's a whole bunch of things. Uh, and I am currently in Denver, Colorado. So you can see some beautiful mountains behind me. I'm staying at the Gaylord Convention Center where we're here for Thrive Palooza 2023. So super pumped and excited. I landed very early this morning. I think I landed around 8.30 Denver time, which would have been 10.30 uh, Eastern time. And, you know, it's one of those nights where, you know, I'm at a hotel, got up at 3 a.m. because, you know, that 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 flight is departing and boarding at 6.20. So oh, I did not want to oversleep, uh, especially something as grand as what we're about to uh, really experience this weekend. Nothing like an event to really get you inspired, refocus, um, rejuvenated. Uh, it is a tad chilly. I am not going to lie. Coming from Florida, this is a tad chilly for me. Uh, not too, too bad, though. Uh, but what a beautiful flight in, getting to see the mountains. Uh, and where I am right now is the gazebo, well, I wouldn't say gazebo area, but it's the outdoor area. So I'm going in a circle right here. And this is where one of the uh, events that they're hosting is going to be. Um, tonight, we have the Millionaire Dinner. I'm going as a guest with Kristen Hodge, uh, one of the millionaire recipients uh, with our company. Amazing, amazing event. Tomorrow, it is a Western theme. And then on Saturday night, it is our VIP white party event. Uh, we've got a lot of breakout sessions during the day. So I'm super pumped super excited uh and it feels good to kind of reconnect with people nothing better than reconnecting with people that you have the same passions about with health and wellness that is absolutely true um i was able to go to uh gosh probably about six seven years ago to the convention in i believe it was dallas yes <laughs> if i'm not mistaken um it just gets you so pumped up and i'm so excited to see you there with of course the um the beautiful views that, you know, it, uh, and what I thought was so amazing, uh, I flew into, when I went to Colorado many years ago, I actually fl flew into Colorado Springs and just the mountain views when, <clears throat> when you're landing is, it's just, it's breathtaking. Oh, it is. It's spectacular. And you get to see like a little snow on the top. Um, but yeah, this is literally, uh, you've got, you know, surrounded by mountains and then the rest kind of almost looks like deserty. Um, they, the weather here is going to be, uh, I think today, low forties, upper thirties, kind of around that. You know, I think the highs a couple days might be close to 50. Uh, I'm not really sure, uh, but you know, chillier than, um, I'm certainly used to now that my blood is thinned out being in Florida, but I am, uh, you know, really excited because, you know, we've got some new things coming out. There's always great announcements with Lavelle. Uh, plus then of course you get the pro shopping the new stuff that's out that'll be exciting and again just to spend a good quality three four days with people that really strive to help other people feel their best be their best uh and it really all starts with gut health uh and then really starting to see a lot of transformations they are down to eight finalists i believe it's eight finalists now for the ultimate thriver some spectacular uh, transformations. So that'll be announced this weekend. A lot of stuff going on. Yeah, and that in and of itself is very exciting. But what excites me even more are all the people such as yourself who have really embraced that lifestyle and participated for themselves, not for the prize, but the Correct. prize for themselves. And to me, that is so motivating. It is so exciting. And kudos to you and our team members who really, you know, blew me away. Awesome. Yeah, job. I mean, it's just crazy <laughs> to see, you know, when you really put your, your health and wellness first. And it still doesn't mean uh, really depriving. And I think a lot of times when people talk about transformations or I'm actually going to take a seat right over here, uh, a weight loss uh, journey. Seems a little wet. Let me get over here. Um, you know, yeah, there, there, there are things that you may be introducing 
uh, to your lifestyle that you haven't before. You know, maybe you're, you know, eating a certain lifestyle because we know that there's different ways to eat. Some people like keto, some people like vegetarian, uh, plant-based, carb-free. But the whole point being that you've taken that first step to say, you know what? I need to realign, readjust my body to, uh, because my body's depending on me to get it to the next level, to get it to the next phase, to get it to the next decade. And if we're not taking care of ourselves, and that does not mean, we talk about this all the time, does not mean just eating carrots, sticks, and celery. We want to eat good food. Uh, we want you to enjoy food because we know that there's an emotional attachment to certain foods that really, you know, get our endorphins going or that we just, the delight of it, the taste uh, that, that our taste buds crave. So we don't want you, you know, depriving yourself, just kind of rethinking, okay, wh what do I need? to get to the next goal? What do I need to get, with, you know, whether it's a weight issue, what do I need to get to the next size down and taking it into small stepping stones that trend you to the bigger goal that's coming up? That is true. And, you know, don't deprive yourself. You <laughs> don't think of it as, um, we, we all we've talked about this, gosh, so many times. We're all on a diet. Don't think of it as another diet. You really, it's all about encompassing your mindset in a positive, perceptive way, setting yourself up for success. So for some, that may be as simple as starting out with waking up 15 minutes early so you can have that time for yourself. And maybe the first thing that you do when you're sitting there for 15, 20 minutes, whatever it may be, <laughs> you know, start with drinking eight ounces of water before you have your coffee. I've been doing that and I'm finding, especially, um, you know, during Lent, I gave up the second cup of coffee and um, I'm one of those people that has to put sodium on their food before I even taste it. And I've maybe used, um, since Lent <laughs> is over, maybe have used salt twice just to put a little bit. And what I did was, and I clued into this last night, um, is I poured it a little bit of salt in my hand and I just took like one pinch and just, you know, put it on my fries. And I was happy with that. So right. and it, and it goes to show you that a little bit does go a long way. Mm -hmm. If it still enhances what you normally are accustomed to, go for it. Uh, you know, when we say don't deprive yourself. Yeah. Are there times where you're going to be at events where you may have something sweet or you may have a good loaf of bread? We're saying enjoy those things. Just don't overload on them every single day. And when you make just those even minor adjustments, like if you're a person that tend to tend to uh, focus more on carbs, maybe you didn't even know that. And then you started really reevaluating, like, what do I eat during the week? And you find out that you're eating pasta a couple times a week. You're eating bread at every meal. And you realize, hey, you know what? Maybe if I really compress that a little bit and say, I'm only going to do it twice a week, maybe once during the week and once on the weekend. Let's see what that does for me. I promise you, you're going to see some changes. Same thing if you got a sweet tooth. If you're a person that has to add cookies every night, a lot of people do, uh, or something sweet. And they'll say, oh, I just need something sweet. How many times you've heard people say, I just need that little something sweet. Could even be, you know, a, a piece of candy, whatever it may be. But if you find that you're doing that at every single meal, and you're finding that you're having no progress with your weight journey or your health and wellness journey, cut back a little bit. Mm. I think when people do not deprive themselves, they actually, their bodies develop new habits and they are more successful with the long-term goal of keeping the weight off or being more in fit. Or in, in for some people's cases, it may be to gain weight. We know we like to smack those people around a little bit, right? No, I'm only kidding. But there are some people that really have a hard time the way their metabolism, metabolism is to hold on to weight. And they may be trying to put on weight all in the wrong way with the wrong food groups. So mm -hmm. they're not finding that success. So maybe it's just a tweaking. So if you tweak a little thing, still enjoy food. Just don't overload every day. I promise you, you're going to have success. Right. And it's not about restriction. It's about your perspective on your wellness and what you want for you. So don't think of anything as, oh my God, this is restrictive. 
you, you've already set yourself up for, um, I don't want to say disaster, that's not the right word, but you've already set yourself up for failure if you're already, oh, well, you know, I can't have any of this or I can't do this. And <laughs> you know what? That's okay. Just be honest and real with yourself. If you cannot be trusted around a bag of chips, that's me. <laughs> Um, what I've started to do, because I've been talking about potato chips, seems like nonstop, is once a month, I will allow myself to buy a little bag of potato chips. And I almost bought one yesterday, but I'm like, no, I can't do that because I had it three weeks ago. I've got to wait another week. So I'm going to wait my, my week. And if I feel <laughs> the next time I go to the grocery store that I really need to buy it, I'll get it. But if I don't, well, feel I I'm finally gonna... found, I agree with you. And I think that's such a great way of really accommodating your taste that you like to eat it, mm -hmm. but also being accountable to say, you know what? I know I can't be trusted. So I always thought that was a funny way to word it. And I said, to her, she said, do I have a food that I can't be trusted with? And I really don't. The one thing that comes closest to it would be the Girl Scout mint chocolate chip or mint. Cookies. The Thin Mints. Yeah. Then so I, I kept thinking about that. I said, what do I have one of those that, you know, I can't be trusted around. So when I thought about it, I said, yeah, I remember back in the day. I mean, I don't do it now, but I remember back in the day that I would eat a whole, a whole sleeve in one, one city. So ironically, and the reason why the, the memory sparked up, we were at, oh, we were actually flying back from Hartford. So we landed in Vero beach and these girl scouts, had a table set up and oh no it was actually when mike was flying in so we come out and mike goes oh mom look at the girl scout cookie cookies we haven't had those in years i said you're right so i bought a couple of thin mints a couple of the other ones that he wanted uh the ones john really wanted or the ones mike wanted sticker doodles one of them was it wasn't there so he tried a new one so we ended up buying like five boxes of cookies and so we get home and that's when it dawned on me. I said, this must be the thing that I can't be trusted around. So I said, now that I recognize that, I'm mm -hmm. going to test myself because I hadn't done that in years. And sure enough, I grabbed a sleeve and I ate about half of the sleeve. I go, uh oh, <laughs> tightened it back up and say, put that in the back of the fridge because I like to keep it in the fridge because yes. it tastes, tastes really good when they're cold. So, yep, I do have one too. We all have them. We sure do. And, you know, <laughs> it was a funny thing. Ryan knows that I love um, Oreo cookies and Oreos are gluten free, plus they're vegan. So right. Ryan will often, you know, buy a bag. So he saw was in CVS and he saw, <clears throat> excuse me, saw this display of Oreo cookies. And he sent me a picture of it because one of them was mint. And I'm like, oh, I had just bought in some cookies and we had just finished it. And I'm like, Oh man, that is so tempting. I know it is so good. And I think everyone can relate to that. I mean, it's relatable. We all have that Achilles heel, you know, that we falter to. Um, and I think the good thing is, is, is if you know about it and you talk about it, you're going to find that other people have the same issue, maybe a totally different food group, but we all have them. And that really goes to show how we are made up chemically, uh, hormone, hormonally, uh, gut health, all those different things differently. We're all different inside of what we crave. And a lot of times the cravings are actually related to a, a deficiency. So ironically, I uh, did a very uh, intensive blood work up a couple of weeks ago and I got the results back. And the one thing that uh, I was really lacking and lacking not in a bad way, the number was lower, it could be a little bit higher, which I was shocked was potassium. Because not only do I take potassium, you know, with the, uh, what I do with my gut health, I eat probably at least one banana a day, sometimes two. I buy this a little bit smaller bananas or not so short, not like the real big ones. So then if I eat two, I don't feel so bad about it. I was shocked, but it goes to show you that our body uh, breaks down things differently. Now here, somebody that, you know, is, is swears by their, their gut health and I take it every day. You would think that my numbers would be perfect, but it goes to show you that you still, your body still can, even though you're doing everything positive for it, 
you still, there's always room for improvement and you're always at work in motion, uh, you know, creatively, uh, mindset wise, and also your gut health. So yeah, I got to take some extra potassium. Wow. You know, and that's so good to know. And which reminds me that I've, I have to go, I have an order to go for blood work. So I'll be figuring that out. Um, not sure if I have to fast for that one. So I'll, that's a good reminder. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. And I did not, uh, on any of the ones that I took, uh, I did not fast. Um, but I was intermittent fasting. So I really had not, um, but the only thing I, I did at that point was my, my uh, three steps. I thrive. I didn't, I didn't do any, I didn't have any, actually any food in me. And a lot of people say, well, there are certain tests that you do have to fast, but I also think it's a, to me, when you don't specifically have anything in your gut or in your bloodstream yet, it's a good time to test your blood raw. Mm. Now, I don't know that, I guess there's pros and cons about that, but. Yeah, exactly. So what would be um, in your mind, one other food maybe that when you think of it, you're like, oh God, I got to have that. That would probably back in the day was definitely cheesecake. I, I made a mean New York style cheesecake. I haven't made it in years, but the other thing will probably revolt you because it is seafood chowder. <laughs> yeah, that, that is rather revolting for me for sure. <laughs> That's I love okay. seafood chowder. But yeah, so those are foods that like, especially with the cream and the dairy, I really can't, I can't digest it anymore. Not that I can't digest it, it's, but it's not worth it. So if I'm going to have that little treat because I really want it, I really do a small amount because yeah. it's to me, it's almost not worth it if I'm going to get, feel, <laughs> feel not too good. Right. And, you know, I also gave up dairy pretty much completely other than the um, half and half that I like in, in my coffee. Right. But uh, I think it was the last week, last Thursday or Friday, where I was having my little um, veggie burger. And I'm like, you know what, I'm going to try a slice of cheese on it. And about an hour later, I was like, Ugh. So I'm telling you though, the, 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 uh, plant-based or vegan cheese, uh, I had a beef burger. What was it yesterday? Yeah. It might've been even yesterday. John made them and we put the vegan cheese on it, put the, you know, put like a saute pan cover on it. So it really melts good. Couldn't tell, can't tell the difference. I could not tell the difference, put a little, little, uh, vegan mayonnaise on it. No bun. I ate it. Oh my God. It was so good. That does sound very good. Yeah. And of course it's uh ice cream time for me. I'm all about the ice cream. So every time I'm in a grocery store, I'm like, okay, are there any deals? Like what's on sale? And... <laughs> That's true. Cause you know what? You no, know, again, different seasons, different foods, uh, highly, so highly recommend always eating in season. If you can, we know that, mm -hmm. uh, we live in a, time where you can get any fruit anytime anywhere but try to know your region know what's in season and focus on those things that is very good and um hey what are you reading are you reading anything now uh i am i'm reading uh, about not killing yourself but by, by the food you oh, eat that's not the name, that's that's not the name of the title i just don't have it in front of me oh that uh, that, it, it, that you shared a couple of weeks ago correct yeah actually i think it was last week and um uh, you know foods that don't you don't die from or I, I don't know I can't even think of the name of it off the top of my yeah. head but it's very interesting uh on the different food groups um obviously colors of the rainbow you know you always have to have on your plate um and there are actually some surprising foods that we think are good for us that are not necessarily if you eat them too much are not necessarily good for you so it's a good book so I'm reading that and then I'm actually going to be starting another book uh next nice. week next week um and i don't have that in front of me i don't know the name of it but it's all about mindset so i, I love you know changing things up mm -hmm. uh, regarding health and wellness mindset gut health um oh now i got a good tune on remember this song can you hear it no what is it bye bye wait was that backstreet boys oh bye 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 yeah bye. oh no. cool Cool music. So yeah, so we, I'm enjoying sitting out here. Um, again, it's a little chilly, but not bad. Um, kind of a nice refreshing change. Uh, we've had some some beautiful weather back in Vero Beach. So this is a little colder, but 
It's beautiful out. It's got a great blue sky, gorgeous mountains in the background. And uh, just waiting on the sweet. And then uh, I'll go do my three steps and break fast. And we are two hours behind all of you. So I actually gained two hours. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. Mm. And on that note, we hope that you have an amazing, trending, triumph, wealth, wellness type of Thursday. I had to say that a little slow there. And yeah, the, the mouthful. Yeah, it sure is. And we're, we're not sure if we'll be on tomorrow. We will certainly try. If we are able to do so, great. If we're not, you know, we will be back on Monday at 11 a.m. Eastern with um, our guests. <laughs> My name is Janice, a.k.a. Wellness Diva 5.0, and I'm with two sisters. And this is Carol, so, a.k.a. Nani Ross, live from Denver, Colorado, enjoying the Rockies. We hope you have a great trendy Thursday. Trendy Thursday. I don't think about even because it's kind of winding them all up together. Uh, I was a little confused there, but whatever your day is bringing you, do it with kindness, do it with hope, do it with passion and help other people. And you'll be surprised. You will make someone else smile on this day. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow for Fantabulous Friday. We'll make it work. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.